Are you having trouble taking your card out fast enough for Akashi due to an outdated and bulky wallet? Fear not because Extra offers a streamlined and stylish card opening mechanism, RFID protection against skimming and identity theft, as well as an optional worldwide tracker that is solar powered so that you can go and find your misplaced wallet with ease. On top of that, Extra is currently having their Black Friday sale, which is their biggest sale of the year from November 2nd to November 28th, where you can get 30% off all orders and 40% off an order over $200 or more. Click the affiliate link in the description or the pinned comment below to get an additional discount automatically applied to checkout, and if you purchase a wallet, a portion of the commission earned will help support this channel. See you in the video! Hi guys, it's Ander. Hopefully your Skybound Oratorio polls have been good so far. Me personally, I actually managed to finally get Algerie, who evaded me last time, so that's nice. Anyways, we're going to be looking at another powerful IJN destroyer today, being Yudachi Retrofit. Let's get into it. So today we'll be talking about everyone's favorite dog, Yudachi. If you didn't know, you can go and obtain her as a super rare map drop from stage 6-4 over here. So here's our favorite dog. And she also recently got a retrofit, making her another rainbow rarity top tier destroyer. Now her retrofit gives her a bunch of stats, enhances her all at assault, and also grants Yudachi another main gun mount, making her a sort of hybrid destroyer that can deal damage with both her main guns and torpedoes, similar to Suzutsuki. Stat-wise, Yudachi has high torpedo stat, evasion, and reload, but is average in the other categories. For her skills, her original skill, being Nightmare of Solomon, actually gets changed up in her retrofit, as you can see by this little plus sign. Now this retrofitted version provides Yudachi with a nice 20% firepower, torpedo, reload, and evasion increase, which is actually less than the original version, but instead it's actually permanently active compared to the other version, that would only grant the buff for a small percentage of the time when she fired her main guns. In addition, she also gets a 15% damage boost to any enemies that are on fire, and for the first 30 seconds of each battle, Yudachi increases all Vanguard ships' torpedo crit rate by 10% and their torpedo crit damage by 25%. For her other skill, being her retrofit skill, Feral Claws, Yudachi gets a 5% evasion rate increase, decreases her damage taken from shelling by 15%, and every 20 seconds after the battle starts, she fires a special barrage that inflicts a unique burn on any enemy's hit. Now, this skill, combined with her pretty good base stats and her powerful auto assault, make Yudachi Retrofit a very powerful destroyer that can honestly be used for any content given her versatility in being able to deal both good main gun damage and torpedo damage. Onto her gear recommendations, first of all let's take a look at her main gun. Now as I said earlier, her retrofit does give her a main gun mount plus one, but she also does have a very good all-out assault, meaning that her main gun preference is up to you. If you want more of a hybrid main gun damage plus all-out assault damage, you can go with a faster firing main gun such as the twin 114mm from PR3. Now this provides pretty good damage while retaining a pretty fast fire rate, Perfect for proccing the all assault more often, but also being able to do some nice main gun damage. You can also use the twin 100mm, but keep in mind it does a lot less main gun damage, so it's honestly just not worth. If you want more main gun damage instead, you can use a higher damaging option, but keep in mind that you're going to be proccing the all assault a lot less. So for instance, you could use the single 138.6mm right here, the baguette gun, which you can actually farm during this event at D1, so that's very nice. And you can also use the Russian Gold Event Twin 130mm as well, which is also a very powerful main gun. And for any purple budget friendly alternatives, you can always use the purple version of the baguette gun, or the purple version of the Twin 127mm. For Yudachi's torpedo mount, really any high rarity torpedo mount will be good on her. All of the high rarity torpedoes being the rainbow and gold tier rarity torpedoes are quite good in this game, so all of them perform well and you really won't notice too big of a difference between any of them. For some specific recommendations though, the 533 quadruple magnet torpedo is always a all around great option for any ship with a pretty good reload time, good damage, and of course the magnet torpedoes which are very nice. And of course, the classic quintuple 533mm is also an all-around great option for any ship. All these other gold torpedoes, like I said, are also very good, so you can use them as well. And for some budget-friendly alternatives, you can use the purple version of the quintuple torpedo, the purple version of the quadruple, and the purple version of the quadruple magnet. 
Now for Yudachi's anti-air gun, like many other destroyers, Yudachi doesn't really have that great of an anti-air stat, so it really doesn't matter too much on what you put here. The only anti-air gun that is worth mentioning is the twin 134mm, due to the extra 15 firepower that it provides, which is very nice for increasing Yudachi's main gun damage. Finally for auxiliary gears, if your Yudachi is going to be on a stage where she is not under the looming threat of dying, you can go with a gear that is going to increase her damage even more, such as the Cordetta Rainbow Pure Oxygen Torpedo right here, which increases her torpedo damage by a pretty generous amount. Or if you instead want more main gun damage, you can go and increase her firepower using the Intel Report Arctic Stronghold. And if you want more survival, you can go with such gears that increase her health points, such as the Repair Toolkit right here as well as other things such as the Celestial Body, the Pearls, Tears, Gamer's Mark, and a couple other options including the Action Report Operation AF, the New York City Coast Recon Report, and finally the Classic Fire Extinguisher. With that, let's hop into the Battle Showcase. So as you can see, here is Yurachi, and we are going to be doing a run of D1 because I need a couple more of the Spaghetti Gun Blueprints. And there is her amazing all out assault. And every 20 seconds, she actually fires a special barrage. So in one second, she should be shooting her feral claws out. And there's Ki and Ryuho in the back. And that is battle number one. She just gets a bunch of main gun steroids from her skills. So she is pretty strong. So keep in mind, for the first 30 seconds, she gets that very nice skill that increases her torpedo crit rate and her torpedo damage. So, pretty nice. And of course she has her main gun mount plus one, which makes her shoot very fast. And it also increases her damage quite nicely. So here we go once again. Just gonna shoot the enemy. And that's the battle. Very simple. And on top of everything else I've said so far, she also does get that nice 5% evasion rate increase, and she also decreases her damage taken from shelling by 15%. So she is going to be able to go and live quite nicely. And she also does get that nice 20% firepower torpedo reload and evasion increase, which should help her survive a little bit more and deal a good amount more damage. So here we go, we're shooting our main guns. And I put a nice little star skin on her main gun so that she shoots stars, because why not? So, she's just going to keep on shooting. There's her all at assault once again. Yuho just procced her airstrike. And the battle should be over in a few seconds when Ki lands this and does no damage. Anyways, that is battle number three. Very cool. And keep in mind, my ships are very over leveled for this stage as I'm using one level 120 ships compared to the level 93 ships. So, it may not be the most accurate representation, but it is pretty good at showing that Yurachi does clear very fast. So yeah, she's just gonna keep on shooting. And she kind of just melts right through these ships, as long as they don't have too much health and they don't have heavy armor, she will be able to just completely decimate them. So here's Ruho's barrage once again, and here's Ki. And the battle should be over in a little bit. On harder stages, Yudachi might be having a little bit more trouble, but she will still be pretty good nonetheless. Now hopping into battle number 5, this is only a 2 triangle node so it should be a lot easier and it should go a little bit faster. So anyways, hopefully your Skybound Oratorio pulls have been pretty good. I've finally gotten all of the friendships in this event. I've got Le Terrible, Le Terrible, Terrible, I think. I don't know if like in French you're supposed to say it differently. But anyways, I got both the new ships and I just got Algerie too. So that completes my entire Skybound Oratorio gotcha pull. It's very nice. And for the battle showcase for the boss, we're just gonna have Baltimore and Kazugumo in the front, and my level 125 Shinano because I need to raise her affinity. <laughs> she is like two affinity points away from 200, so might as well get that up. 
This shouldn't really take too long because Shinono is absolutely a menace, so as long as she actually hits her airstrike on the enemy, then we should be good. Well, let's find if she... Oh, yep. Almost, almost. There we go. Now that concludes the battle showcase. Very cool. With that battle showcase finished, that will conclude my gear guide for Yudachi Retrofit. As always, if you found this information helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Don't forget to press that notification bell for my future uploads as well. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions that need to be answered, and I'll try my best to reply. If you're interested, you can always join my Discord server if you need any advice or just want a place to relax. That'll be all for this video, so I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!